Hi everyone, I'm Bianca. And I'm Byron. Why did I say Bianca like that? It's very weird. It's strange sometimes. I know. So today we're going to be talking about smoke and mirrors. Is that what we're talking about, Byron? Yeah, that's quite an interesting one. I want you to explain to our wonderful audience what smoke and mirrors is. Um, you know I'm a man of few words, so let me just get straight to it. Uh -oh. uh, so smoke and mirrors... When I, when I use that phrase, or when we use that phrase, it, everything is not what it appears to be. So, not everything that you see is what it appears to be, and not everything that you hear is what it appears to be. And we, I, I use that phrase because, for example, I get people contacting me asking me to hire uh, my cars to, in essence, dupe their audience and I find it really un un like preposterous that people would do this and they and the, the key players are I'm really sorry if you're a trader but it's traders and by they, traders you mean online like trading online like trading financial platform, yeah. stocks so they, and... they, they, on, their, on their socials they always have they're standing next to a car or they're doing they, they're in a shop or they're trying to sell a lifestyle they're selling a lifestyle right and they ask people to obviously you know pay them a fee to kind of register and join and so on and to teach them how to, to trade them how to, trade. How to live that send, lifestyle too they're going to send them these signals and all these other things right, right? and then they'll they'll contact me and be like yeah um, interested in hiring one of your cars and they always first of all say am I interested in doing it for promo and I'm like no <laughs> No thanks. You're you're this big trader, you know. <laughs> put some money up. Put some money up, and then uh, we go down the route of you know uh, we might go down the route of a negotiation. And often they don't have. I'm really surprised they don't have any or very little money disposable to create this facade. Um, but I made a decision last year to say I'm not. I don't even want to like work with these guys because I wasn't kind of in the beginning. I was not naive to it but they just say they need a car yeah um just take a couple of pictures in that's mm -hmm. their their pitch and you don't think anything of it and if you want to pay for the pleasure why not but then when you start looking at it and you start seeing what they're using those pictures for oh, mm. you're like whoa mm. okay so then that's why i say it's also always smoke and mirror so, you, so are you concerned that you don't want to look like you're part of their look or is it just that you think day, it's wrong I'm not like everyone is grown adults they can make their own decisions mm -hmm. they do their own due diligence and if you know we don't always make the right decision and it's just a learning experience but uh, so my answer to your question is I'm not like saying oh I don't want to do anything with these guys and so on and so mm -hmm. forth but if I'm consciously aware mm -hmm. then I would rather not do it right okay um, in the most part though the office are dealing with the bookings you probably wouldn't know until it ends up on Instagram yeah and this is probably in the earlier stage, but it still contacts me. Oh, that was my roller. What did I? Um, I have not seen a white ghost in the. You're really talking too. about sorry. white ghosts on the Yeah, phone. sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Um, so, uh, where was we? Yeah, see? So, yeah. how does he get distracted yeah, yeah, by yeah, fancy yeah. cars? It was really nice. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So, so I have, I have a, a question on this. Okay, so smoke and mirrors are essentially people pretending to be something they're not in order to. No, I to illustrate a lifestyle that they can then utilize no, to sell to someone else. That's kind of what you're saying. Sometimes, no, 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 no. No, I didn't say that. And <clears throat> because smoke and mirrors could be, you have no money, but you've got a social media following. You you would appear to have mm. be living a particular lifestyle right. that people think you have money. Okay. They would want they want to be like you because they think you have money. Because you're okay. because you're presenting a lifestyle mm -hmm. that, in fact, you could never afford. Or um, you know, if you go to the cash point, you, you can't withdraw twenty pounds. Right. Sure. So I don't, but please, people are inviting you to certain places because of your following, and therefore you're showing this lifestyle. Yeah, and that's, okay. even even with with that said, perhaps that's not the, the perfect example, but I'm saying don't believe everything you see, you see. Okay. and only half of what you hear, mm. because smoke and mirrors is real, mm. you know, and people can le show a particular lifestyle, but they, you know. So I so on that, yeah. obviously there's you know there's a saying, fake it till you make it, right? Mm. So some people might consider, 
you know living a certain lifestyle trying to live a certain lifestyle trying to appear to live a certain lifestyle a part of faking it till you make it being in the right places meeting the right people until it becomes a reality how do you feel about that argument you know that people always it's a throwaway comment fake it till you make it mm. I don't and now speaking about it I don't think I'd ever um, I ever use that word or that statement mm. and I don't think I actually believe in faking it till you make it mm. um I, I, I yeah, feel I, I kind think... of agree with you except that I feel like there was a time I said there was a time when I first decided to start my first business I hadn't left my job yet and I remember I had like I took a day off to go to a conference and I had um, some business cards printed and I remember going actually I don't think I had business cards I don't think I even went that far but I went up to this lady and said I already had started this business and that I could you know provide a particular I could provide a personal branding workshop service yeah so, so technically, there wasn't a reality yet. Right. So that's a little bit of a figure to you make a situation because I'm talking about a business that I haven't actually started. I'm due to start in about three weeks because I had given my notice in by that point, but I hadn't started Maybe we need yet. to redefine fake to you make it then because when you say fake it to you make it, to me, it would appear that you're saying be dishonest. Right, sure, sure. But what you're saying is you didn't, you wasn't dishonest, but you sold yourself and your packages as if you could deliver it tomorrow yes and you could deliver it tomorrow except I had a job you time. had a job yeah but could you I have I could have well yeah. I could yes of course so that's not fake to you but the it. business didn't exist yet as I mean it depends on how you look at that's your, your ambition yeah that's what you want to do sure. that's the space you want to be in yeah so I don't think that's fake it to you but is, is that this okay fine because you're saying these guys are actually using it to sell a lifestyle to sell packages to people so you're just they're just point blank line essentially yeah, it's deception deception it's criminal okay. yeah true. really yeah, yeah. Uh, and there's younger people that try and emulate mm. them they want to be like them they that's want, my concern and then they want to get you know enhancements done and so on yeah. and so forth and then like these guys can't pay their pay their pay their rent mm. <laughs> and it's just I just you know, we all we all have financial issues in life but you know <laughs> I always say you know Instagram as well especially Instagram is a one second moment snapshot of a 24 hour day mm and a 365 day year mm. and uh, you only need a handful of those moments to make to 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 show a lifestyle mm-hmm. and um you know to convey life isn't yeah. always like that mm. <laughs> for, for the most part mm. <laughs> for most people true um but hey so smoke and mirrors is is um so don't fake it Give us some give give us some final words. I want to hear some what do you mean? Don't, top don't tips. Fake it. Now, what would you what would you want people to take away from this? Are you saying don't believe everything? Tra- don't, don't believe everything you see. see. Okay. And only half of what you hear. Okay. In that's fact, it. none of what you hear, none of what you see. No, that's not true. <laughs> Until you qualify it yourself. Oh, I see. I see. And I always. That's have- not always true though, because. I'm a big believer in, in referral and recommendations. So if someone said someone was great and someone did something well for them, then you have you can. I think it's fair to believe it and then go and experience it. No. Yeah. Oh, it's always the case when people say good things about me. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's always real. Yeah, of course. <laughs> No, no trouble. I don't yeah. want no smoke. All right then, whatever. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so so yeah, so just do your research. Do your research. Do your do your own due diligence and um, okay. Yeah, make your own decisions, but just don't believe everything you see. It's just heartbreaking sometimes, and I sometimes know the truth with certain individuals, and I'm just like, really, mm. really? Yeah, that's true. Really? And they're selling a really good dream. And then that, that, that's why I that's think. That's what's scary. It's the dream yeah, sellers. It's yeah, crazy. It is scary. And like I said the other day, most of the people that I know that are high net worth individuals don't even have no social media or mm. don't have, have very, very, very limited yeah. um, social and media. And don't following. have masses of following, yeah, absolutely. Very limited. Mm. So that's. It's incredible. like the other day, so it's totally unrelated. Mm. But someone messaged me and was like, sent me a private message on, on Instagram. It's like, oh, you know, Bianca. Um, and they're not they're not a social media manager for clarity oh Bianca you know I feel like you know you should have more followers by now you know I saw your post the other day you didn't get you know that many likes I feel like it's time that you handed your social media on to someone else to manage for you because you know I was thinking like (laughs) 
if it's that's different. not my my aim in life, my my purpose in life is not to have those of followers. Masses of followers. <laughs> it's not. My purpose in life is very different to that, and I think that they misunderstand by sending that message as heartfelt as they try to make it sound. They misunderstand the, my purpose. And I think too many people are just yeah, trying to get followers. I think followers. the difference is that's the concerns are different, right? So their concern was, and their ambition is a large social media following. For me, though, that was their ambition for me. Yeah, it's bizarre. <laughs> it's like, I, partially, I'm like, oh, that's cute. They think more people should see what I have to say. Um, and they thought I'm not doing it right. But if I'm not going to do it, yeah. then it's not very authentic. What's the point? Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, so don't believe everything you see. Be careful. All right, guys. Well, it's been fun. Self-made. It's success. Until next time. Bye.